Yo! And for those who don't know me, I'm Ken3001. I am a mapper stroke environment artist for a little game called Renegade X. Renegade X is based on a game called uh, CNC Renegade. Uh, it's basically a remaster, uh, a remake. In the past I've made tutorials about how to make maps and how to use the Renegade X assets. Uh, unfortunately, like 90, 80 to 90% of these uh, tutorials are actually obsolete now. They're, they're not in void, so I've got to remake them. Uh, we're going to start off with the very basic, and we're going to work up to the more more advanced stuff. I might even chuck in some uh, just normal UDK stuff in there as well. Uh, but we're going to start off with the most basic of things: downloading, installing, and getting the UDK working. Uh, this is really simple. You just go to renegade-x.com. Go to downloads. Uh, go to renegade-x. Find the big logo that looks like UDK, or the big UDK logo, and uh, we're going to just hit that. We're going to download the file. Uh, this version is 5390. Uh, you may get a newer version depending on when, when you see this uh, uh, tutorial. Uh, this number, the bigger the number, the, the newer it is basically. So I hit the download this file button and we download it. I've already downloaded it, here it is. Renegade SDK. October 5th dot zip you can open this up with any any dot zip opener <laughs> application uh, I believe Windows 10 automatically comes with one I think Windows 7 does as well uh, don't know about Windows 8 nah, never used it uh, but I'm using WinRAR because I as an old man and I like my old things um, so we're using WinRAR to open it we're gonna go make a new folder if you already have the SDK installed Please do not overwrite files, make a new folder, then copy your own assets over. Don't overwrite anything, you will break things. Uh, so I've already uh, dumped these files over, I just select them all and uh, dump them over, or extract a specific folder, blah blah blah, whatever you want to do. Uh, so now we have the UDK installed with the Renegade X assets. It's that simple. How do you open it? I hear you ask. And uh, that's simple. You just uh, go to your folder and go find Start Editor. Dot back. You double click that, and you're off. You're raring to go. Uh, why am I not clicking it? I'm not clicking it because I don't like the way this works. Uh, it's set up in such a way that uh, it's very easy to close. <laughs> so I show you what, why. That's uh, not what I wanted. Right, I'll do that in a minute. All right, I didn't want open, I want edit. Right, this open, it starts the uh, EXE with the editor. All right, it also puts it to a dump and uh, gets the game stats and whatnot. But this this log, this log thing here, I absolutely hate it. So I can either remove it from here or do what I'm about to do. Uh, I'm not actually going to touch this. Uh, so uh, I'm going to actually make a shortcut. You can also send this to your desktop for a shortcut or whatever. If you notice, I don't particularly have many uh, applications on my desktop. Uh, it's because I use this dock thing at the bottom. Uh, so I'm going to go head over to binaries, then go to Win64. Uh, you can either use a 64-bit version UDK or a 32. Uh, in the past, I've always said use the 32-bit because the 64 is a bit funky. Uh, but we've like unjankified it, <laughs> if that's a word. And so we're going to go into the 64-bit. If we ever get any issues later on down the line with a 64-bit version, we can always go back to the 32. They're interchangeable. Uh, you're not going to lose anything or gain anything with either. Apart from the 64-bit version, you get more RAM and memory allocation and whatnot. And all that 64-bit goodness. So we're going to scroll down, find udk.exe, and we're just going to dump that to the desktop as a shortcut. Uh, I'll keep this open for now because I'm going to have to show you something else. Uh, so in this shortcut, I'm going to rename it because uh, if you notice, I have loads and loads of shortcuts. So I'm going to put uh, uh, renx uh, com sdk. Com is for community. You don't have to rename it. I have to do that because I've got numerous uh, SDKs running on this system. Uh, then we're going to go to properties. So right click it, go to properties. In target, you got inverted commas where everything is, inverted commas. After the inverted commas, you have to put space, then write editor. 
that's it. Then you press apply, OK. And you can either risk starting it or do or try and do this fix. Um, a lot of people have been complaining about the editor crashing while, com uh, while compiling shaders. Uh, so we're going to go, go through this fix. This fix was brought to us by a community member. I believe uh, she's actually a dev now. I can't remember. It was a long time this fix was uh, brought in. So what we're going to do is we're going to unlock a, uh, a DLL file. Uh, for some reason, Windows likes to lock down certain files. If you have uh, user uh, US, US uh, what the hell is it called? User access manager thing you know that you you want to run this software sort of thing comes up I don't have that running at the moment uh, to make things a bit easier for me uh, so we're gonna go to binaries we're gonna go look for this file called uh, unreal ed c sharp so if we go to unreal ed c sharp dll we're gonna right click it we're gonna go to properties I can't show you because mine isn't locked down but somewhere in this uh, general tab there will be a button uh, saying uh, it's unsafe. Uh, there's a button in there to unblock it. It's, it's basically, this is from the forums. It actually works. It's a bloody good fix. Uh, I don't know why it happens, and I don't know why you need to do it. I've never had that problem. Uh, but that should fix the loading issues. If you have any other issues apart from that, uh, there's something else wrong. Post on the forums. Me or someone else will help you. Uh, so yeah, we don't need this anymore. We don't need this anymore. Uh, so when we start, we get a firewall thing. I'm just going to allow it because I have stuff on my other PCs that allow me to do uh, like testing. So we're going to double click this. We're going to get a a script uh, compiler first. Uh, basically, the UDK comes with uh, the scripts uncompiled. Uh, I don't know why, I think it's just because it's the way it is on our, our repository. Um, so when this comes up, if it ever comes up, there it is. Scripts are outdated, would you like to rebuild them now? Yes, I'd love to rebuild them now. So this may take a while depending on your PC. My PC is absolute crap, so it might take a while. There we go. Uh, depending on if you've added your own custom stuff, uh, you may get errors or warnings. Uh, the, with a bare bones uh, install, you don't get any errors or warnings, unless you've got a RAM problem, <laughs> and then uh, you get errors. But as you see, no errors, no warnings, all green. We're going to close it. And then we're going to reopen it. Uh, this takes a absolute while. Uh, I forgot about this. Uh, user license agreement. Uh, you can either accept it or reject it. Suggest you read it. I've read it loads of times. If you reject it, you can't open. You can't use it. So I have to apply. Uh, accept. Sorry. Uh, now we're loading files, whatnot. This may take a while. Should mention it says UDK editor. If you don't actually have the editor running, it would. It won't say that. Okay. So there's the editor loaded. Uh, the next tutorial will be about what you see on screen, and then we'll start getting into uh, the Renegade X assets. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.